Hi, I'm Joe Navarro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about trust. To me, this is one of the most important topics that uh, I can talk about because it is so essential in business, in interpersonal relationships, in life in general. Trust is demonstrative. And so we have to have a history of trustworthiness. We can never assume that somebody is just going to immediately trust us. So to gain people's trust, always remember to be respectful of who they are, where they come from, their life experiences, their religion, their beliefs, uh, all that is in important. Um, to establish trust, obviously you want to be friendly uh, but not too friendly. Uh, research that uh, we have conducted shows that people who come across as too friendly too soon, too quickly, without establishing those incremental boundaries, uh, are often pursued as less trustworthy. When you are talking to people, make sure that you convey information that you are not trying to convince them. There's a big difference between convey and convince. And, uh, you know, this is one of the reasons why a lot of people come away with bad feelings when they leave a car dealership is because the, the person, the salesperson was trying to convince them to do something. Uh, when you're trustworthy, when you're honest, you just convey the information people will uh, decide. And of course, uh, be well-mannered. That is a requirement. And remember, as I said earlier, uh, trust is performative. You have to demonstrate that you're trustworthy. Um, it's not something that should be expected. It's uh, required of you. And that means that everything that you do and everything that you say must be demonstrative of trust. Remember that uh, we can violate trust by looking at things that we're not entitled to do. Like somebody comes in your house and all of a sudden they're looking at all your possessions, especially your valuables and so forth, or interpersonally, uh, instead of looking directly at their eyes, uh, a man uh, is perceived as less trustworthy if, if for instance, uh, they're looking at uh, how you're dressed or uh, the woman's breasts and so forth. Eye behavior goes uh, uh, in a big way to establishing trust, that you know the boundaries of, of society and that you uh, adhere to them. Be mindful of spatial needs. People who violate space, people who dominate your time, people who get too close uh, or maybe touch you, uh, are not seen as trustworthy. You're not likely to be trustful of somebody that gets too close and or touches you. Don't be pushy. Nobody likes uh, pushy people. And when we are trustworthy, we are consistent. That's one of the traits of people who can earn our trust is they consistently deliver. They consistently are on time. They consistently do uh, as they say. And uh, that helps to uh, develop our trust in them. And always ask yourself, when you want to establish uh, a trust is, can I deliver? In other words, don't overpromise. Be honest and say, you know what? Uh, I could do it in three weeks, but honestly, four weeks is probably better. Better to do that than underperform. So when you're trying to establish trust, uh, remember that it's a, a incumbent upon you to be able to deliver. And if something's going to interfere with that, make sure that uh, you front it. Make sure that when you convey information that it is timely. Nothing betrays trust so much as keeping information or hiding information or not delivering that information on a timely basis. Uh, and that can work against you. 
Uh, one of the other traits of, of people who can establish trust is that they can attenuate fear. In other words, whatever concerns you have, um, you let them know through the things that you say or the things that you perform. Uh, something like, you know, this crew is really good. They've been painting uh, for uh, almost uh, 10 years and they're going to take care of the house and they can deliver. Uh, and it's, it's through your uh, observation of others and by attenuating their fear, it goes a long way to uh, creating, uh, enhancing trust. Be mindful of boundaries. Be mindful of your vocabulary, that uh, you have to be respectful, but sometimes you have to be deferential. People who are trustworthy don't hesitate. And I mean that in communication. Uh, nothing looks worse than you're asked a simple question and there's all this hesitation and it's like, mm, uh, well, I've got to check. Uh, you know, all of that is a distraction. All of that uh, is negatively valenced and works against you. So uh, if you want to establish trust, Always uh, be on point, be ready with the answer, uh, don't uh, hesitate. Um, be ready to engage the person at any time in any manner that is necessary. Sometimes it's emotional, a person may need a hug, there, there may be some uh, catastrophe they're uh, dealing with. Uh, sometimes it has to do with the urgency of a project. Make sure that you engage at the same level uh, and with the emotions that are appropriate uh, for that. Uh, be careful with pacifiers. Uh, you know, I talk often about self-soothing behaviors, touching the face, biting the lips, touching the neck, other behaviors. Um, people who uh, do too many pacifiers, wringing of the hands, appear to be less trustworthy. So you want to avoid these uh, uh, behaviors. Um, be ready to pivot at any moment to meet the needs, wants, desires, the fears, and the concerns of the person you're dealing with. There, you may be working in an organization where things happen very quickly. There's always a fire somewhere else, and you may need to pivot uh, both physically, emotionally, psychologically, and so forth, and be ready to do that. People that are trustworthy achieve that uh, very, uh, very quickly. Always be mindful of emotions and prioritize emotions that... Uh, the emotions of other people uh, need to be addressed first uh, because of the primacy of, uh, of, of emotions. Um, so uh, there's my take on establishing trust. It's not that hard. Be trustworthy, be respectful, be mindful of others, uh, fulfill your obligations, and you'll be able to achieve that trust that is so, uh, so vital. So thank you. hope you'll join us here next time. Please subscribe. Please ring the bell, and we'll see you next time.